bring this to you. Breaking news in here at Five Live. There are reports that a plane has crashed into the World Trade Center in New York. That's a plane is reportedly crashed into the World Trade Center in New York, setting it on fire. We'll get you reports on that as soon as we can. Pauline, I'm sorry I interrupted. No, that's Please okay. Um, no, on the line we have um, a huge Paul. explosion about two minutes ago. Five Lives, Leslie Ashmall is with us. Uh, these are astonishing pictures and an extraordinary story coming in. What can you tell us? Well, it, it really is extraordinary. You know, we understand that it was a commercial passenger jet, supposedly, and that's what the first reports are saying, which collided into the, uh, first of all, the 110-storey building. Somewhere between the 80th and 85th floor, we saw piles of smoke pouring out of that, and then just moments afterwards we understand that a second strike has also hit the other building so both towers are now hugely on fire As and one of the fires coming in that uh, two planes have crashed into the world into the world trade center in new york as i'm looking at the pictures there has been a massive explosion in one of the buildings let's go live to new york talk to our north american business correspondent stephen evans stephen what can you tell us i can tell you that i'm looking up at the world trade center there is a cloud of grey smoke in a very clear sky coming from the top of it and now in the last 30 seconds another explosion halfway down the building and you can see the rent in the side of the building from that second explosion I was in the base of the building when this, ha uh, when this thing happened first of all there was a huge bang and it felt as though uh, a construction company or something like that had dropped a weight from a very very great height the building physically shook I initially thought no more about it, thinking there's a bit of a problem on a building site. But then seconds later, there were two or three more very big explosions. And this building, this huge building, towering into the sky, again, physically shook. And at that point, people came screaming past me, saying, just get out, just get out, just get out. Thank you very much indeed. Obviously, this story uh, is, is changing and developing throughout this afternoon. Let's bring you some eyewitness reports and talk to Jane Beresford. Jane... Uh, you're live on BBC Radio 5 Live. Can you tell us what you saw, please? I can. I was waiting down on Battery Park Ferry Station, actually waiting to go across to Ellis Island, and as Steve Evans was saying, there was a huge explosion, which we all thought was construction work, so much construction work going on, and uh, sort of clouds of smoke billowing up, and it wasn't until we started to see the flames, probably for about 10 minutes, nobody realised what had happened. Um, and then about sort of 20 minutes later, a plane just flew literally over the top of our heads, was heading directly towards the second tower and just smashed into the middle of the second tower and it was it was like something out of a horror movie. Jane, thank you very much indeed. That's Jane Beresford. Let's talk to another eyewitness, Cliff Francis, who I think uh, watched it from his uh, hotel bedroom window. Cliff Francis, uh, what can you tell us? What did you see, please? Now I'm looking out, I'm probably about half a mile away and um, I'm looking up at the two towers and it's just a huge amount of smoke coming out of um, both towers. I mean, your last a witness said it looks like something out of a disaster movie. That's exactly what it looks like. I mean, it's the sort of thing you would expect to go to the cinema and see. I mean, just an extraordinary sight that this landmark is has two huge holes in it and this huge amount of smoke billowing out into what is a completely clear blue sky. Meanwhile, these fires obviously very difficult to extinguish for the fire department. I'm not even sure if they can get equipment up that high in the building. This smoke, obviously, on a beautiful clear day in Manhattan, is visible for miles, for miles and miles around. It is also worth noting that as far as we can tell, the airspace around New York City, as far as commercial traffic goes, that airspace has been shut down. All operations at Newark Two planes have Airport, crashed into John the World Kennedy Trade Center. Airport, there are reports Airport, of an explosion at the Pentagon. There are also reports of a third plane being hijacked. Five Lives Leslie Ashmill can uh, tell us more. Leslie, wh what do we know so far? Well, indeed, and these reports are just coming in, so do bear with us, everyone. I appreciate it's very difficult um, to know exactly what is going on in New York at the moment. We, um, we are also hearing word that actually there's been an explosion at the Pentagon in Washington and hearing reports that a third plane has been hijacked. Let's talk to James Robbins, who's joined me here. The FBI are saying there's foul play involved, James. That's right, and they seem to be suggesting they were already investigating a hijack before the first plane smashed into one of the Twin Towers. So this looks like, frankly, the largest terrorist operation we've probably ever seen on the planet. Uh, today we've had a national tragedy. Uh, two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. I have spoken to the Vice President, to the Governor of New York, to the Director of the FBI, and I've ordered that the full resources of the federal government 
uh, go to help the victims and their families and, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks who committed this act. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. Let's have a word with Gitter Harry at the TUC conference. Uh, I imagine Tony Blair has cancelled his speech, has he? Gitter? Well, he should be in full flow at this stage. He was due on stage at uh, quarter to three. He's actually just climbed on board, looking very grave indeed. The president of uh, this uh, Congress is currently introducing the Prime Minister. What we expect now is not a full blown speech, uh, but a, a solemn statement uh, in reaction to the events across the Atlantic. As Bill has just informed you, there have been the most uh, terrible, shocking events taking place in the United States of America within the last hour or so, including two hijacked planes being flown deliberately into the World Trade Center. I'm afraid we can only imagine the terror and the carnage there and the many, many innocent people that will have lost their lives. This has been the, the, the worst nightmare that people could imagine. It's always been on the cards uh, that it should be done in such a coordinated manner and with such, uh, as we imagine, large uh, numbers of casualties and loss of life. It's uh, still, as we speak, fairly unimaginable. Bruce Jones, thank you very much indeed. As we speak, and as I was listening to what Bruce was telling me, uh, the second tower at the World Trade Center has collapsed. They have both now collapsed. It was about seven minutes to two that we started to look at the first pictures. Uh, the one of the towers was hit by a plane. We obviously didn't.